Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a header and footer on Elementor using the Elementor header and footer builder, which is a free plugin. So we'll build this header here and as well as this footer. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so here I have a blank install of WordPress with Elementor already installed and the Hello Elementor theme. So as we can see here, it's very bare bones. And on a website, the header and footer are some of the most important elements as it will be present on every page most of the time. So having a professional looking header and footer will really make your website pop and stand out more. And of course, it will help with giving off of professional online presence. Okay, so let's get started with what we need to install. So go into plugins and then we're going to install Elementor header and footer builder. So let's just search here, Elementor. So this one here, it's a free plugin. So you, if you have Elementor Pro, then you don't need to use this one as it already comes with a header and footer module. But if you're on the free version, then I recommend installing this plugin as it will make developing headers and footers a lot easier. So click install now. Okay, and then activate. Okay, great. So now we can go here into Elementor and then header and footer builder. Okay, so let's add new. Okay, so we can just skip this. Okay, and make sure we set this as a header. And I'll display on the entire website. Okay, and then edit with Elementor. Okay, so first what you wanna do is create a container. So just use Flexbox. Okay, and we're going to want everything to be horizontal here. Okay, so first what we're going to need is the logo here. So let's do site logo. So just do logo. Okay, and then click header footer builder logo. Okay, and then we're going to add a custom image. Okay, so I'll just upload my business logo. Okay, great. So now it's a little bit too big. So we want to make sure you have the correct sizing here. So, so we can go over here into styles and then with the width. So you wanna make sure max width is set to 100 and then you can lower the widths here. So let's do 50. So it's still a little bit too big. Uh, and this is on the desktop view. So first we'll start with desktop and we'll optimize for tablet and mobile after. Okay, so let's do like 40, 30, Thirty-five, yeah, thirty. I think it's fine. It's a little bit small. Let's do forty. Okay. So now let's match the color of the container here. Okay. So what you want to do is the container and go into style, and then we're going to add a background color. So click this, and then we can click the color picker here, and then the color sampler, and we can pick this color. And there we go. So now we have a color match background. So let's just make the logo here aligned to the left. There we go, so now that looks better. And then wanna make sure that our container here is a box layout just so it doesn't have too much variance when it's on bigger screens. So let's just do what they recommend, 1140. That's good for, that's good for desktop. And then over here, what we wanna do with the content is space between. So they'll evenly space out the elements. Okay, great. So now we have our logo here. So now let's add our menu in the center. So add new element, search main menu. Okay, so you wanna scroll down here to header footer builder. So these are what's available from the plugin. So navigation menu. Okay, so now what we need to do is create a menu. So first let's just uh, publish this and then go back into our WP admin and then go here into menus. Okay, so we don't have a menu first, so let's just do main menu and create. Okay, and then if you have pages already, you can select them here and then say the sample page and we can add it to the menu here. But again, I don't have any other pages. So just for references, I'll just use custom links and then this will create like, this will create the labels 
for our menu. So I'll just do home and then this page will name it. So again, if you name the page something different, you still have the option to change the label. So we'll change this to about. Okay, and then another link here. And we'll do contact us. So this will be slash contact and then contact and add to menu. Okay, and save. And then you can manage the locations here where you want the menus to be present. So let's say the header is the main menu. Okay, so now let's go back to our home page. Okay, and then we need to go back to our footer here. So let's just make the home page default home page. So let's go here to add new page and just make a home page. So I just name this home and publish. Okay, and then I'll go back to the dashboard here and then go here into reading. And then your home page will be the the home page that we created and save that. And then I'll update our menu as well here. So go into menus and then home. So now over here, if we see your page, we can see the home page has been added to the selection. So we can add that. And then we can just remove the test link here and click save. Okay, so next let's go back into our header and footer builder. Okay, and then let's edit this header element this header element okay and then over here in our container we have the navigation menu here so now it's over here so let's just make it a bit centered vertically so align it to the center here so now it's right there in the center okay and then with the layouts here we can change the layout but i like the horizontal layout here okay and just align it you can just keep it as default. And then this is responsiveness. So on tablet, I'll change to this and then I'll pop up like that. So next, what we can do is edit the typography. So you can choose here. So by default, it has it as Roboto. So I'll just keep it like that, but you can change your global fonts here. So you can just manage your global fonts over here. And then I'll change the color to white just so it matches the logo. Okay, great. So now that looks better. And we need to also update the hover effects. So over here and typography, what you want to do is hover and just change this to, I recommend like a darker white, just so there's some contrast like that. Okay, and then the drop down as well. You can update that here. So let's say for the mobile menu, So that we can check here, we can make this white. Okay, and then for the alignment, let's make it to the right. Okay, so that looks good. And then when you click on it. Okay, so we just need to fix those links as well. So under style here, over here for mobile, what you wanna do is just change these color, give it the background as that blue. So over here in the color picker, let's just get this blue. There we go. Okay, and then over here for mobile, let's just make the logo centered here. So go to contacts here and then make it centered. Okay, so now that's aligned here on mobile as there's not enough space for having the logo and the menu on one line. Okay, and just double check your desktop and tablet layouts. Okay, so over here in the tablet view, let's just fix the menu is not showing. So what you want to do is over here in the drop down, we'll just change the background color to the blue that we have here. So we can just use the color sampler, take that blue, and then if we click into that, now it shows our links here. Okay, so next we're going to apply this to all pages. So go into your admin again. Okay, and then go into appearances, header, folder, builder. Okay, and then edit. Okay, and then make it a header and this will display on entire website. 
Okay, and then update this. Okay, so now this should be good. And now let's go into our website. And great, so now our header is showing over here. Okay, so lastly, let's make the footer. So go here into appearances and then Elementor header and footer builder. And again, you wanna add new. And then this will be footer and publish. And then edit with Elementor. Okay, so again, for this, it's the same process that we did for our header menu. Okay, so I'll just include just the menu and social icons. So again, with the container here, let's just get the color. Okay, so the color used from the logo is this one here. So you can use your colors, okay? And then what we wanna do is add a menu first. So go into the header and footer builder and add in the menu. Okay, so for this style, I'll make it a vertical style menu. So go here into layouts and I'll make it vertical just as it's on the footer. So it'll look like this. Okay, and then I'll add in social icons. Okay, so it'll look like this. And then just again, update the sizing. Change the sizing to like 18 and then align it to the center. And then I'll just make everything a uh, space between. So look like this. And then again, I'll just fix the color in here. To typography, just make it white. And then again with the on hover effects. Okay, and then for responsiveness, I think we can just keep it this layout for every device as it will just be on the bottom here. Okay, and then underneath that, I'll just create a copyright. So just do this. And then the same thing again, just update the coloring. And then we'll add in a text editor. Make it white. And then you can just do your copy right here. So just copy, right. 2024, Mapillet Media, Ink. You can just center that and then make it bold here as well. Okay, great, so that looks good. And then now let's go back into the plugin and publish it to the page. So go back into the admin, appearances, header and footer builder. Click edit here and then select option footer display on entire website and then update okay and then if we go to our website so the header is over there and then at the bottom we have our footer here so great so this looks good so this concludes the end of the video i hope you were able to follow along and set up a header and footer for your website if you're looking for help, then you can set up a consultation with me in the calendar Lily link below. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date with my content and thanks for watching.